Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am back with a new tutorial. Um, I received a couple of requests uh, from my other uh, tutorials that are done for 3S Max using Octane. And someone asked me, you know, what happened to the subdivision surface uh, option that used to be in uh, Octane. And as you can see here, I'm using Turbo Smooth, which is not ideal. If you're using a GPU and especially if you have like maybe one GPU to you to work with um, I'm using Octane uh, 4.05-6.6.20 and right now I have uh, three GPU uh, graphics cards you know I have the RTX and the GTX and one of them is for denoising I use actually both of them for denoising but if you don't have um, a several or couple of GPU uh, graphics cards it's not going to be an ideal for you to, you know, subdivide your object to a point where there, there's so many <laughs> polygons and then you're trying to render it in real time. Right. So right now, because I have two GPUs, um, I mean, it's pretty quick in terms of uh, rendering, but it can be better. And the reason I think someone asked well, you know, what happened to that subdivision option was because it used to be like if you selected an object, you used to be able to go to Octane and octane object properties and it used to be here right they moved it <laughs> unfortunately uh, but so they, there isn't enough information out there or like clear tutorials on how these things have moved or not but they did move it in uh, 4.0 so i'm going to show you where to find it and the value of actually having this uh, option is that right now if i go to configure viewports and I turn on statistics and I select total plus selection and show in viewport and apply say okay so this object that I've selected the body of the phone uh, is currently <laughs> 52,000 polygons right and so if I turn it off I turn off turbo smooth look what happens so it jumps down to 1.6k one, 1. which is what you want you know to speed up you know your renders and especially if you have like a scene like we have where you have a whole village that has many many you know objects that have uh, different levels of uh, polygon uh, quality so a good I mean the other option that we had a subdivision op option was intended to help alleviate you know the the weight of the scene so if it's not on if I turbo smooth is off you can see that uh, the model is pixelated, right? So what they've done, where they hid it, not really hiding, I'm not saying they hid it, but where they put it is now under the modifier list. You have to go down to you look for Octane. It's gonna be Octane Geometry Properties. So this is where it resides now. And I'm using uh, 3ds Max 2014. So this applies to even uh, later versions of like 2019 and 2020 and so watch what happens so I have octane geometry properties uh, selected and the level of subdivision is now three so even though in the viewport it shows like a low poly version of uh, the phone you can see it's still 1.k 1.6 sorry 1.k 1.6k right polys um, but in the render window it looks subdivided and that's because of this octane geometry properties and if i took it down to zero you can actually see the pixelation on the edges right let me zoom in real quick uh, real tight and you can see like the contour here if i turn it to three it subdivides it nicely and it doesn't add any uh, polygons to the object in the scene which makes it easier to load in memory and this is a post you know uh, not post render but it's it subdivides the object during uh, render time which is a much better approach and so I'll show you like at the back of this phone if we go to the back I have some strings here and so this is, I think, where you actually see it in action, like really doing a good job. So if I turn this down to zero, 
you can see how the you know the string <laughs> this is a grandpa's phone you know he, it's been beat up and so he's had he's he's having to tie it with string so he can call Nancha and he's in the village you know like in the village in Uganda but uh, to alleviate that you just really have to turn this up to three and it fixes the you know the string cutting into the geometry which is awesome you know because I'm not getting I'm not adding more polygons to the scene like if I did turbo smooth it's doing it uh, using the octane geometry properties and subdivision level which is really great so another example is uh, the buttons right here uh, so, uh, if I look at them in the viewport they are 444 uh, polygons which is really good and now watch what happens if I turn on the if I turn on the modifier I go to octane properties and the subdivision is up to three and let's refresh oh by the way if you don't need if you don't want to refresh you just right click go to octane properties and turn on movable proxy that will update in real time inside of the viewport so that's the value of this uh, uh modifier now that used to be inside of the octane properties they've moved it to into the list of the modifier list and that's, that's where you can find it please I encourage you guys if you're using uh, 3ds max take advantage of this uh, feature uh, this modifier because look at how nice the buttons look right and yet in the viewport no additional polygons have been created it's still 444 uh, polygons which is pretty good but visually it looks great it looks like it's subdivided so that is where they have it <laughs> in case you've been uh, looking for it that's where they've they've put the option for the subdivision of each object and I again I love octane um, this for example if I look at the seconds <laughs> it's just it, because I've set it to a much higher uh, like uh, size but you can see how the quality improves so fast so even after just uh, you know I've put it to 3,000 samples but even after like 500 samples it's already looking great and so that having that uh, octane geometry properties and uh, the modifier list is helping a lot because then I don't have to deal with a lot of geometry and that I can have better textures in memory because there's less uh, memory being taken up by the geometry so guys that's where it's hiding that's where they put it they didn't hide it that's where it is right now and uh, thanks again uh, this is uh, from Nkoza and Nancha and uh, a big thank you to the team that's helping me and Bruno did an awesome job and you can see in the background is actually the village where the grandpa you know calls Nancha and tells her about uh, you know village life but uh, the, the tutorial is about these properties the subdivision properties and where they they are right now so again thank you so much guys for tuning in don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you can get an alert when i post a new video uh share it if you have questions let me know so i can uh, answer them in the comments thanks again uh, see you next in the next video